Hello everyone, a uh, very happy New Year's Eve to you, or happy New Year's Day depending on when you're watching this and when I upload this video. And you know, New Year's Eve is a really, really exciting time, right? It's a day before New Year's Day, which is crazy. So I've decided what I'm gonna do tonight is make four different beats and they each correlate to a certain expression that I feel in celebration of New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. I hope you enjoy. All right, for the first beat, I'm thinking something very exciting because, I don't know, tomorrow's 2022 and I'm pretty excited. I'm, I'm thinking like sort of a, sort of an up-tempo 150, 160 track beat with like jazz and R&B chords on top of it. We can do that. I'm really happy with that. I think we're gonna add keys to it now because you know I always appreciate some good keys. First I gotta duplicate this layer because I am using a laptop keyboard. Legitimately. I'm not joking. It's... I'll show you. Here it is. In all its glory. I do not have my MIDI keyboard with me but this works just fine. You just have to know when to use the right thing. Let's do it. I'm not gonna use like a chord progression that's entirely new. Like it, it's sort of a chord progression that's like really inspired from gospel music and soul music. A lot of soul music. Um, especially gospel though. And I really like the chord progression. So we gonna use it. Exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, so my keys are done. Whoop, that's not my keyboard. I think I'm gonna do some bass. I like that low end. For example, this bass, I'm gonna shift it, I'm gonna shift it back a little bit. See, that sounds, that sounds beautiful. That actually sounds beautiful. I gotta have at least like a pad or something. So my, uh, my pad of choice for, uh, for stuff to sound grand is this, which is classic analog pad. It's incredible. I love it. We're gonna use it. I'm happy with excitement. I really am. Um, I think it sounds great. Let's move on to the next beat. So for the next beat, I've chosen like 120 BPM. I'm thinking something to do with sort of the 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 good vibes of New Year or the easiness of a New Year, if that makes any sense. I'm calling this one vibration because you know when you when you feel calm and when you feel relaxed, it feels 
like a vibe, so we're just gonna call it vibration. So the reason I wasn't able to show the process of producing the tracks themselves um, along with my beloved commentary, the big reason for that is, well, my phone died and I kind of really wanted to focus on producing the tracks rather than recording the process of doing it. And so here we are. But anyhow, regardless, I'll break the tracks down for you. I wanted the third track to be sort of experimental, so very inspired from stuff that I've heard from Flylo and Kay Tornado. And I wanted to do that because I felt that the new year, for me, meant that I could experiment with a lot of new things. And so the whole year is just gonna be about experimentation. And for the track, I was really inspired by songs like Zodiac Shit or Post Requisite. Both are Flylo songs, by the way. I know it doesn't sound anything like those tracks, but they were big inspirations for it. Obviously I was going for that wonky, sort of off-kilter drum beat. And since it is experimental music, I wanted to make the drums really chaotic as well. I also wanted this sort of nice little lead synth on top. And the bass. I love that bass sound. I really, I genuinely, I was vibing to it as I was producing. I played it, I, I selected it, I played it, and I was like, I have to use this! There's literally no way I won't use it. And so here we are. I've used the bass sound. I also wanted to have some cool chord progression. Uh, and I really love it when stuff that is sort of alienating audiences, stuff that is experimental, has chord progressions that genuinely sound sick. And I thought to myself, what better chord progression to go for other than something I've heard in almost every single contemporary R&B song? Not really every single one of them. R&B is a versatile genre. There are a lot of different types of chord progressions, but this one? I've heard that a lot, and I can't get mad about it. I've used it myself in a lot of songs. I really like the way it sounds. That's so why I decided to use it on a track that is supposed to alienate audiences. I just like it when musicians do that. It's cool. It's fire. For the last track, I wanted to inspire relaxation and to be calm because, you know, the year is gonna be absolutely terrific. It's gonna be very exciting. There's a lot of stuff happening, but at the same time, we need to respect the quieter times, the still times. I wanted to go for that Jay Dilla, Nujabes aesthetic. So sort of lo-fi, jazzy. I mean, for every single one of these tunes, I've used a certain chord progression that I've either heard in jazz or R&B or soul or gospel music. I really love Dilla's production on uh, that common record, like Water for Chocolate. I've been listening to it a bunch. It's really cool, really, really beautiful music. And of course, Nujabes is another incredible producer. Uh, rest in peace. There are a lot of songs that he did with uh, this rapper called Shingo 2, if you didn't know, especially in the sort of Lovesick series. I thought those were incredible, incredible songs. Just wanted to shout out Nujabes, really. What a fascinating producer, man. So for the track, I wanted to have drums that were really chill, off kilter, as usual. That's so why I cut off a bunch of the high end. And to me, it sounds warm now. I wanted to use this sort of electric bass sounding synth bass. Logic has some incredible patches for that. And of course, you know your boy loves some Rhodes. So I used some Rhodes piano, and here we are.
made these instrumentals not only as a celebration of the new year, but especially because I just wanted to do something fun and lighthearted and not that serious because I have been working a lot on the project and a bunch of other stuff. So amidst all of that tension and work, I feel like music can also be fun a lot of the time. It should, it should be fun most of the time. Even when you're making projects, make sure you're having fun making projects. And also make sure you have fun this year. Have a great, amazing, prosperous 2022. Um, thank you for watching.